covered how to write most commonly occurring sounds and a few uncommon ones using the IPA. Now that we know more about how sounds change, let's see if we can apply that knowledge, combining it with our skills in writing using the IPA. So like always, I'll say a word or a phrase. You try writing it using the IPA. So let's go. First word is indefinite. Indefinite. Our next word is impartial. Impartial. Next we have incomplete. Incomplete. Lastly, impatient. Impatient. All right, so let's pause for a moment. So what do you notice in these words? You may already know that the prefix in can mean no or not. So that's true in all of these words. They all have that kind of meaning. So why are some of them said and written with an m sound, with a letter m? What do you notice about their phonetic environment? The voiced alveolar nasal, n, becomes an m before bilabial sounds. So what kind of phonological process is this? It's a kind of assimilation. Specifically, we can call it place assimilation because the sound is becoming like the place of articulation of the following sound. All right, let's try a sentence. She's gonna go. She's gonna go. So what do you notice about what's happening in this sentence? So first, we see that the vowel I in is is deleted to form she's. So we know that in connected or rapid speech, like in a sentence, phonological processes can occur over word boundaries. So we wouldn't drop the I sound in is if we were going to say the word is on its own. Next, we see that going or going to becomes gonna. So what do you think is happening? So one way of analyzing what is happening is this. First, the final nasal mm becomes like the front vowel i in front of it. So it becomes going to or going to. The T sound is then deleted, becoming goana. The i sound is deleted before the m sound, becoming gona. And finally, a process that we haven't talked about yet, reduction. The first vowel is reduced to a schwa, a uh, sound, giving us gonna. All right, let's practice a bit more. Our first sentence is, let me see. Let me see. Or, let me see. Let me see. Or, I want to go. I want to go. Or, I want to go. I want to go. Or, what about, I want to rock and roll all night. I want to rock and roll all night. Or, I want to rock and roll all night. All right, good job. So from these examples, you can also see that the processes are normal and natural. So saying that they're wrong, for example, that you shouldn't say wanna or gonna, or that you're uneducated, if you say those, if you use those phonological processes, 
is simply not true. Language is key to how we express ourselves, how we connect with others. So limiting that is limiting us as humans and our capacity to create and our capacity to form connections. And it makes it more fun to discover and analyze how, where, and why language changes.